Lars here, welcome to the Ride With Me channel. As some of you may have seen, last week I went to the Happy Bike Days bike testing event and I tested a whole lot of bikes there. However, there was one bike which I just couldn't get my hands on. A bike so popular that every single time I went to the Canyon booth, the bike was gone and actually all the test bikes were gone. And that's this bike right here, the Canyon Spectral. Canyon was kind enough to lend me this bike for about a week so I could test it on my home trails. So you can buy the Spectral in both aluminium and carbon fiber. Mine is the AL 6.0 model. It's a size large frame. I'm 1 meter 84 and I weigh around 80 kilograms. The bike itself comes in at 13.5 kilograms once I put these egg beater pedals on it. The build overall is really nice. Get DT Swiss M1850 30mm wide spline wheels on boost hubs with a maxle up front. Instead of going with a 1x, the 6.0 model comes with Shimano SLX 2x11 drivetrain with a chain device and an XT clutch derailleur. In the front is a 34 and a 24 ring which means anything between 5 and 45 km an hour when pedaling. The cassette at the rear is an 11 to 40 model. I would like to see a larger front ring though. A 36 would perhaps show off the benefits of a 2 by more. There's 150 mm of suspension travel thanks to the Fox Rhythm 34 in the front. It has compression and rebound adjustment options. In the rear you get 140 mm of travel with the Fox DPS Evo. The standard setup on the suspension felt really nice to me so I only had to adjust air pressure a little bit to get the bike set up for my weight. The finishing kit is from Canyon's Iridium brand. It comes with a fairly short stem and pretty wide bars. The only minor letdown are the Shimano M506 brakes, which lack the fine tuning of higher end models. You do get a 200mm rotor up front though, so stopping force is no problem at all. Interestingly, at this price, there's also a RockShox Reverb Stealth dropper post with 125mm of travel. It's really nice to see a high end dropper post on a budget bike. Remember, this is the 6.0 model, so every Spectral that you buy will be as good or better than this one. While some of the geometry numbers on this bike are a bit on the conventional side nowadays, I really do feel like this bike offers a great balance between the ability to climb up hills, do twisty stuff, but also be pretty stable once you're shredding down the hill that you just climbed. In the description, I put a link so you can check out the exact geometry numbers for the bike size you need. Overall though, I feel like the short chainstays make for a very fun, playful bike, while at the same time you get a pretty long front center and a very slack head angle, which makes the bike more stable at higher speeds. So a very good compromise for a trail bike. Bikes are of course designed for riding and not for spec sheets. Here's what my experience was like. So I picked up the bike on a very hot Sunday evening after seven hours of testing other bikes. I still took the Spectral to the Black Trails in Hufaliza and I had a blast going down the very dry and rocky sections. And this bike gave me a lot of confidence, but I still decided to take it a little bit easy because I was exhausting from testing all the other bikes. On Monday I went for a recovery ride on my local trails and this is when I was finally able to really compare the Spectral to other bikes that I've ridden. The trails here are less technical but way faster and I had to climb more. Climbing is something this bike is really good at. The effective C-tube angle is nice and steep and the linkage deals with squat very nicely. Now it's obviously no cross-country bike but still I was impressed with how easy I got up the local hills. Climbing is also where the tiny 24 tooth front ring comes in handy. When you're in this gear the suspension becomes really firm and I came home that day with one new KOM and some fresh legs. The suspension on the Spectral isn't just good when climbing though. When you're going really fast downhill, the bike feels really smooth and plushy. Small bump sensitivity is good and the linkage has the right amount of progressivity for the bigger hits. The bike also feels great under braking. The rear suspension feels pretty independent from braking forces and the front doesn't dive too much either. And this bike just invites you to pump every angulation in the trail and to just hug each jump. Tuesday is my resting day so I didn't do much on Tuesday, it was just raining all day long and even on Thursday on my ride I had to fight a couple of hailstorms. Anyway, even despite the muddy conditions of the next couple of days, I still managed to get a few personal bests here and there. The Spectral seems to clear mud really well. The slippery conditions also highlighted how well balanced this bike is. It's hard to get this bike to slide, but when it does, it's really predictable and easy to correct. No matter if I was blasting down dry trails, leafy woods, or if I was just mud bogging, 
I always felt fully in control of the bike. It was just fun at all times drifting around corners and pushing my own limits. Now a small problem with the Spectral here in Flanders is that we don't actually have mountains in Flanders. We have a few hills but that's about it and so it's hard to justify buying a bike with this much travel when a bike like the Neuron for example does everything almost as well and it's faster on the flat stuff and on the climbs. If you do live in a more mountainous area though, the Spectral is basically a no-brainer. It's super nice to ride to the trail, up on the trail and it's even more fun to be blasting down it. You can also really easily take the Spectral to a bike park and with how well it climbs it might just be a good enduro race bike if the trail is not too harsh. So anyway guys, if you like this video please give it a like, if you want to see more content like this hit that subscribe button, if you want to follow me there's Twitter and Strava, definitely check out my Strava and follow me there, it's great motivation. And uh, for now thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.